All right, you have to learn to pray. You learn to pray in the same way. Lord, teach us to pray. Now remember, in living this Christian life, you don't have to live it alone. The Holy Spirit lives in you. The moment you receive Christ as your Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live in you to give you the power, the strength, the wisdom, the courage to live the Christian life. Now the Holy Spirit also helps in your prayer life. The Scripture says, Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit helps you to pray. Now may I make a suggestion? There are so many people that say, well, I don't feel like praying. I only pray when I feel like it. Then you're wrong. You should have a definite time and place every day to pray. You have an appointment. You have an interview with Almighty God. Suppose you had an interview with President Eisenhower tomorrow morning. You'd get up and say, well, I don't feel like seeing the President this morning. Or suppose you were going to be presented to the Queen. Well, I don't feel like it this morning. No, you'd be there. You'd be dressed in your best. You'd go and present yourself to the queen. Well, every day, God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, is waiting. He has given you an audience at any time of the day, and you fail to keep your appointment. Have a definite time that you set aside and pray when you least feel like it. The will is involved here, too. You say, I don't feel like it. All right, your, your emotion, your body says, I don't feel like it. My mind says, I don't feel like praying. My will makes me go and spend time in prayer because prayer is work. Prayer is work. And many times you make yourself keep your appointment with God and out of some of those moments come your most precious moments and some of your greatest answers to prayer.